YouTubers, RobotSkater143 here with another Predator figure review from NECA. This is the Series 4 Boar Predator. Probably one of the best Predators made so far. This guy is amazing. Um, Series 4 came out a few days ago, um, and I immediately looked around stores, websites for good prices on them. And sure enough, Toys R Us had a good price, 15 bucks each. That's right, fifteen, one five dollars each. That is a great price for a brand new series uh, figure, and these guys are amazing. So I, so I immediately ordered the um, City Predator, and or the City Hunter, whatever he's called from Predator Two, and then the Boar Predator. I did not get the Elder or something Elder one because he looks very similar to the City Predator. Um, but yeah, I don't know. And I was planning to get the original Elder from Series Three, anyways. But there's the box, typical. Predator series uh, box, um, just with a Predator 2 and more of a Predator 2 background. But um, yeah, this guy this guy does uh, look a lot like the Hot Toys Lost Predator. I don't know if it's supposed to be the same Predator. I don't know, but he's got the same mask um, and he's still got the, he's got like the same features. No wrist uh, no wrist blade, um, no other weapon except he just came with this uh, smart disc. Uh, it is not tr uh, Troika, or however you say it. It is a smart disc because it does not have those thorn things, and I'm getting kind of sick and tired of people correcting me, oh, it's a smart disc when it's really a Troika, and then people saying it's a Troika when it's a smart disc. It's a smart disc because it's in the shape of a disc. Um, but yeah, this is the only uh, accessory he comes with. He does not come with that weird staff thing that, um, that comes with the Hot Toys one. Instead, that comes with this Elder one. Um, I was tempted to get it just for that because he just to fit my Hot Toys Lost Predator, but you know, uh, I I was he doesn't look as cool as the other ones to be honest. So I did not get him, but I did get the City Predator. So keep an eye out for that review. I'll probably be posting these two around the same time. So anyways, let's get under the review here and let's let's figure this guy out. Okay, first we're going to do articulation. Um, for the head, it is a ball joint, so it can go around. It probably can go 360 degrees, but it's kind of hard because of the dreads. Um, and the dreads are great on this because it's like a, a uh, like, not, it's, it's a mixture between a thick and thin plastic, so it's easy to m move around and stuff, and it doesn't get clogged, so it doesn't uh, reduce his mobility like the other Predator figures. Great, great choice, um, and it works great. So, and then the shoulders can go up pretty high because they used a new rubber for the uh, shoulder pads and it moves great. So no more again it's stuck because of hard plastic things. It's more like a plastic rubber thing which is great. Um, then a new feature is the waist uh, is now kind of ball joint so it can move around. Uh, great feature as well. And then the elbows not as um, not as articulated as some of the other ones but it, it gets the job done. Um, then it can also swivel at the elbow, and then the hands are um, ball joint. So, and then a great new feature on the legs, uh, it is now almost ball jointed. So it can move pretty much any way you want for great position, great pos positioning of the Predator to make it look even more realistic, because it's always in that like stealthy, um, quiet like stance, which is great. Um, so I think they did a great job on that. And then they now added a double jointed knee. It's got jointed at the top and it's jointed at the bottom here. So it's it's great for. Uh, they did a great job on the leg articulation. A real um, a real. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? A step up. Step up. That's a real step up from the previous Predator figures. Um, then the foot is. Then the feet are ball jointed. So that's pretty much it for articulation, which is actually great. Um, probably one of the best articulated predators up to date because he is well built and he is very uh, positionable. So, all right, now let's take a look at the articulate, um, not articulation, the detail. So let's go. The detail on this guy is actually amazing. They did a great job on the sculpt of the mask. Um, it just got, it just shows so much detail on it. I don't know if those are scratches or what, but it, it makes it really look really good. Um, kind of reminds me of a, the Wolf Predator from AVP, AVPR, um, but I don't know, because he's kind of skinnier, he's kind of the thinner version, his helmet kind of looks like the Wolf Predator, not sort of, um, but yeah, um, they did a great job on the detail, you can see netting, it's not real, but it, it kind of looks real, um, they did a great job on everything though, um, nice job on the fingers, you can see detail, um, great job on the dreads as well, you can... 
they really put some effort into this guy, which uh, is great because, well, um, always glad to see NECA doing a great job on um, on the detail. So, and then that's where his smart disc can fit in. They even did detail in there, a bunch of wires and whatnot, and it fits in there pretty good because it's like a rubber and it kind of just snuggles in there. So um, great. And one thing, he's kind of got a thong on. Look at that. He's got a thong. Yeah. And they made the butt like rubber, so you can move his legs even more, which is great. So, see, look at that. I think they should have put like a cape down there, because that's kind of disgusting, actually, but whatever. So, great detail all around, even detail on the feet. The NECA, ne NECA never really disappoints when it comes to detail, so. This guy's full of detail, um, as all the other Predator figures are. So, detail, very good as well. So, and, um, yeah, he's, he's kind of just a good figure in general. Now, some of the flaws. Um, he does not come with any weapons besides the smart disc. Kind of disappointing. I wish they would have added, like, some, something. Like, since he doesn't come with a wrist blade, as you can see, it's just kind of just like another plain gauntlet. Um, he does not have any weapons. He just has his hands and his smart disc. Um, but, whatever. Uh... I think they should have added like a staff or something, you know, just to give him that extra accessory bonus. But um, you know, whatever. Compared to the City Hunter, um, he he actually is lacking because the City Hunter comes with the the wrist blade gauntlet. He comes with the plasma caster. Um, he comes with um, oh, he also comes with the smart disc. He comes with a whole bunch of weapons and whatnot. So he he came with a lot of accessories. This one, eh, he's kind of plain. But um. His smart disc just fits on right in there, like I said. Just kind of, and then there you go. Kind of just fits in there. Great for um, positioning, uh, stop motions, anything. He's great. But um, this guy is a great figure. The only thing is that he really doesn't come with any accessories. So if you're looking for a predator that has a lot of weapons, this is not really for you. But I think if you collect predators or you enjoy them, this is the best one you can get. He is great looking. He's great articulated. Um, greatly articulated, um, great detail, of course, and he, you can pretty much position him any, any way you want, so, I mean, this guy's the best dude you can buy, uh, get, and for 15 bucks, yeah, this guy's amazing, best Predator, Series 4 of the Predator series is probably the best Predator figures ever made so far, so, keep that in mind, um, definitely on a get wish, uh, to get wish, especially with the holidays coming up, um, 15 bucks is not much for a figure like this. And he, he's as tall as, um, the other Predators on the market, so it's not like they reduct the size a little or anything. In fact, they actually added, he's a bit taller than the classic Predator from the Predator series. But he's just a great figure to have, and he stands up pretty, pretty good. See, I mean, look at that. You can pretty much position him any way you want, and he'll stand. I mean, look at that. So, great figure altogether. Definitely a must-get. Um, so, and that's pretty much it for the review. A must-get figure, articulation 10 out of 10, detail 10 out of 10, accessories lacking, so a 7 out of 10, but, um, and that's kind of being generous just because the overall figure is just mind-blowing, so. But, um, it, it's a great figure to have, must-get, so I hope you guys enjoyed the review, and until next time, I'll see you guys. And don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos, um, too, by the way, and just, yep, yeah, keep it cool. Okay, well, I'll see you guys later, and till next time. Yep, just till next time, I guess. So, see you.